Hello all. I am Professor Nikhil Sundarthikar from the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, KITS College of Engineering, Kolhapur. In this session, we are going to talk about the project management. So this is the fourth session. In the previous session, we have talked about the fundamentals of the project management. What is the definition? What is the necessity of project management? Then we have talked about the project management knowledge areas and then we have talked about the project life cycle. In today's session, we are going to talk about the delays, those are happening in the project. So that is the delays in project completion. So what are the objectives of today's session? So understand the meaning of delays in the project completion understand the various types of delays that may occur in the construction project. So we are going to start. So this is the outline. What is the meaning of introduction? What are the effects of delays and the types of delays that we are going to discuss? So what is the delay? So, before seeing the definition in general, we know what is the meaning of deal. It is the late completion of the particular activity. Suppose I want to complete the certain task up to the say 15th of January and instead of completing on the 15th of Jan, suppose I have completed the activity on the 18th of Jan. So, that we called it as the delay by the three days. So that is the delay. So delays are very effective, we can say, or the effective to the project completion. If delays are happening, it can cause the overtime of the project. You cannot complete the project within the time. It can have the over cost of the project. Also, various other things, ill effects may happen. So, we have to understand the delays, its importance and what are their effects. So, while defining the delays, we can consider delay, it is as a time lag in completion of activity from its specified time as per the contract. So, whatever the things are there in the contract, contract it is a legal document where all the terms and conditions we written within the various stakeholders within the contractor and client. So whatever the contract has been there, so if you are not able to complete the thing within the time, so that we term as the lack. So or it can be defined as the late completion or the late start of activities to the baseline schedule directly affecting the specified cost of the project. So that is the deal. Now, the next thing, what are the causes of delay? So, in general, delays are happening due to the mismanagement. The things where this manage or the events where this management has been done. So, that is the main reason or the primary reason. So, mismanagement can be seen as the risk for the projects which if identify, analyze and manage in a systematic process at the inception. So, we can say also at the start of the project, it could be managed, it could be minimized, it could be shared with the other things, it could be mitigated or accepted to the given good results and minimizes the chances of further delay. So, mismanagement. So, generally mismanagement, we can refer to the various things or various wrong things those are happening during the construction activities. So, for an example, suppose I want to construct particular thing and for that I require the certain resources. I may require the two masons. I may require the one brass of sand, two brass of aggregates. Along with that, I may require the machinery. 
now suppose i want to start these things on the 18th of january so ideally all these things should be available a day before of that about the 17th of january if it is not possible or if it is not been done what will happen my date is 18th of january and on that date instead of constructing the things i am looking for the procurement of this material so it is an example of mismanagement so generally these things or this type of things may delay so for that what we have to do we have to analyze all these things critically at the inception level if we come to know that suppose we are going to have the lack of all these resources on the 18th much two or three day before we can call for the another subcontractor another material dealer another procurement operations we can do and we can complete it within the time so what's going to happen due to that we can manage it we can mitigate the impact of delay we can accept it and we can give the good result and also the important thing is that we can avoid the further delay so the good management is very important for successful completion of the project so what are the ill effects of this delay so first of all over time as delay is going to happen it is directly related with the time the delays will be there it will take extra time to complete disputes may happen within the clients and owners or within the clients and stakeholders or engineers contractor then negotiation we have to do it so whatever the profit sharing is there that may we need to negotiate then lawsuits may be formed file against the responsible person legitimate actions might be taken abandonment of the contract if it is further delay the contract may be get terminated abandoned and ultimately it will result into the over cost whatever the cost we have decided so that will be become over cost and cost it is the critical issue so all these are the effects of delay so we have to examine delays very critically and we have to give the good we can say the good management or good coordination or good monitoring to avoid the delays so all these are the ill effects now what are the types of delays so generally we can have the types of delays into the number of types or according to the number of parameters we can classify it so in that first one there is the critical or non critical delay so critical delay means what these are the delays responsible for the extending the project duration suppose today's one day if i delayed it and if it is going to affect the final completion time of the project that we term as the critical delay and in the case of non critical delay even though today if i get delay by one day it is not going to affect the final end date of the project then we term as the non critical delay so what are the results of critical delay so there will be the file overheads or the unabsorbed home office overhead then the liquidated damage ideal labors and equipment cost we have to pay labor and material cost of escalation and many more effects are there of the critical delay similarly in the non critical delay we may have the ideal labor or equipment cost so that is generally we term as the indirect cost that we may need to pay even though the duration is not increasing this indirect cost is going to increase then labor and material cost escalation and many more things can be get affected due to the non critical delay then executable and non executable delays so what is the executable and non executable so some of the time time the humans are not responsible for the delays where we can give the concession or we can give the extension of time to the contractor so that is the executable delays 
So, what are the reasons where the executable delays that we can consider or we can give the executes? So, that is the natural calamities, political and social unrest, then terrorist attack, delay from client. So, the person or the group of person who is providing the money approval and decision, if they got delayed, ultimately the project will be get delayed. And in that case, the contractor will not be responsible. The next one, it is the non-executable delay. So, where the contractor is fully responsible for the activities getting delayed. So, in that it may be due to the delayed procurement, delayed submission of the documents, then planning and scheduling, faulty planning and scheduling is done or unrealistic planning is done. Then critical events that were not highlighted in the clients to the clients on the right time. So, all these issues are there that need to be addressed. The next one here it is the concurrent delay. A situation where more than one delay event occurs at the same time that we term as the concurrent. So, critical delays along with that the executable delays are happen. So, that we term as the concurrent delay. So, not all those events enable the contractor to be entitled for the extension of time and cost claim. Importantly, it is the cause of delay rather than the delay themselves. So, we have to understand the causes. So, for the by particular cause number of delays may happen. So, that is the concurrent delays. Then next one compensable and non-compensable, where we can compensate the delays. So, scenario where the contractor is liable for the time extension and the cost compensation are called as the compensable delays. So, it fall under the executable delays, whereas if the contractor is solely at the fault for delay event, it is termed as the non-compensable delay. So, non-compensable delay may be fall under the critical, non-critical, executable, non-executable depending upon the situation and it has created conditions of the contract. So, all these are the types of delay. So, at the end this is one famous quote related with the delays, shortcuts make the long delays. So, we have to remember whenever we are going to execute any project. We have to plan the thing properly, we have to take care of all the situation that may occur in the future and we have to do the proper risk assessment, risk management to avoid the delays. So, thank you all, this is for today's session.